Okay, how many of you leave the grocery store with $75 worth of food and you actually didn't buy anything? How many of you <laughs> have gone to the grocery store and you are on a budget and there's really nothing there within your budget? Uh, how many of you have more than one mouth to feed and it's not looking good? Okay, we got the test out of the way. Now how about if you could go to the grocery store and every time you go, you could save 50% off of your food. 50%. Yeah, 50%. Kind of like an echo in here. <laughs> well, I'm going to show you what I do on my frugal budget and how when I go to the grocery store, I save 50%. Every time I go. Here's the secret. Okay, so we're going to take a field trip, and when we go to the grocery store, what you're going to notice is the stores, all stores, will put out 50% items, but they can be really hard to find, and they can be in the most unusual spot. That's why you have to really scout out the store, know the store, and then get your radar on, because those 50% off items are there. We're going to do a field trip, and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about, okay? Let's get going. So in my store, in this aisle here, you really have to look because when I come here, they stash like 50% off items everywhere. And that's where you really have to kind of find what, where they like to stash them. Now I'm not a big person um, when it comes to homestyle biscuits, but look, 50% off. Crescent rolls, 50% off. Look at all this stuff. 50% off. Look at that. All these treasures here. So you really have to look. See, look at how they do this. There's more. Oh, there's more. Look at that. Non-fat probiotic drink, 50% off. And all their yogurts, 50% off. Now, you, I make my own. You know, I never buy yogurt. But, you know, look at that. You have a family, all 50% off all of it. And look, even up here. Forget about these. Look for the 50% off. Look at, look at, look at 50% off. This is like jackpot. Different where they put their 50% off items. Sometimes they will just keep them on the shelf like this. See? 50% off. 50% off. We'll see if there's any more over here. You never know, you might get some cheese. Cheese usually I don't find ever 50% off. Now when you go to the produce section, you know, it's a, it's a hit or miss. You have to figure out what days of the week they will get rid of their fresh produce. Like over here is usually where they'll have uh, the closeouts of the fruit and the vegetables. Now, obviously, there's none this week, but, you know, you could come here tomorrow and you can get all this stuff 50% off. So when you visit your grocery store, just learn, learn what days they move out the produce. And even ask the produce manager. They're usually pretty friendly and um, helpful with that. Now, I'm not a milk drinker, but this is the week, look at this, where they're moving out a lot of their dairy. 50% off on low-fat milk. Look at this, goat milk, 50% off. That's a great deal for goat milk. And you know, there is a shelf life obviously to um, a lot of milk, so you have to be careful. But uh, look at that, reduced fat, uh, fat organic chocolate milk. That usually doesn't go bad. Chocolate milk usually has a, a, a good shelf life. But here we go, plain organic soy milk. This is where I'll buy my coconut milk, 50% um, off. Oh, there's more, all that little stuff, look at that. You look for those labels. It just takes an eye and a rhythm to understand when they put this stuff out. So in my store, every now and then, they'll just have a basket full of stuff. Like here, different types of um, spices. Oh, and look at that, 50% off. You know, and every now and then you'll find something that's a great bargain 
that um, is organic. And if you have a, a, a big family, man, these 50% off items, you know, $100 for 50 bucks. Okay, so that was pretty cool, wasn't it? You got to see where some of the items are in my store, and you could see that they're actually sometimes pretty hard to pretty hard to find. The other thing is, I want you to pay attention, the, the expiration dates. Use your common sense. I do not pay attention to most expiration dates, except when it comes to a couple things, like the, uh, like milk, uh, you know, milk's not gonna last that long. Um, dairy, most of the dairy products are fine. Uh, fresh vegetables and, and lettuces, you know, look at it and just see, you know. It's common sense, it's common sense, but things that are packaged that are already pre-packaged don't worry about it my pantry is stocked full or my old pantry was stocked full of outdated items that's how i i actually stocked up most of my pantry when i was back in wisconsin at a closeout store that had expired food there's nothing wrong with the expired food i mean every now and then you get some saltines that were you know a little stale but you know you usually don't get skunked because things are packaged for long term so don't let that expiration date fool you but I want to show you what $50 looks like and how I got it for $25 now you know every haul is going to look a little bit different but every item here is 50% off olive oil here um, this is some um, butter there's some sour cream here there's a, um, a buttery rum thing that you put in your drink uh, I got almonds and eggs coconut milk and th everything here really does not go bad even eggs you know and this was like for Mario. This was some chicken for him. You know, I bought it for dog food. 50% off. Where can I get him chicken for 50% off? So think outside the box. There's so many great options. And when it comes to feeding your family, I know. And your dogs and your cats. Cost a lot of money. So now you know how to look for the 50% off items. And how you too can feed your family, dogs and pets and maybe even the rabbit with food that there's nothing wrong with and you saved a bunch all right i hope you enjoyed it god bless and keep coming back because i'll have more frugal tips because we got to live within that budget all right god bless